Hi there, Blair from Wisecraft Handmade, back with another quilting and answer video. Every week I share tips to help us all make better quilts, and today I'm answering the question that I received several times while teaching workshops at QuiltCon last weekend. I do a fair amount of hand quilting like this using sashiko thread or pearl cotton thread. This thread is bigger and thicker than traditional hand quilting stitches and it's often referred to as big stitch quilting to differentiate it from those traditional tiny little hand quilting stitches. So normally at the beginning of hand quilting um, stitches, the thread is knotted, inserted into the quilt top where with a little pressure, you pull and pop the knot through into the batting so it gets buried and secured. But I'll be honest, using thicker threads, sometimes that doesn't work so well. Sometimes I have to pull too hard to get that knot to pop through, or sometimes it leaves more of a hole than I want it to leave. So today I have another method for you for securing your threads that actually requires no knots. So I have here a small sample of a quilt. So the top, the batting, and the backing are all sandwiched together and ready to be quilted. I want to quilt long vertical lines across the piece. So I have already marked my lines using a hair marker and a ruler. Now I've got my needle threaded with pearl cotton in a color that you can hopefully see. The important thing to notice is that I'm not knotting my thread. Just leave it as it is. So to begin stitching, I'm going to turn my quilt to the opposite direction that I would be stitching and I'm going to insert my needle through just the top and the batting about an inch and a half away from where I am going to take my first quilting stitch. And then I'm going to pull it through so that the tail is just inside that hole that I made. Then I'm going to flip it back around and now I'm going to start stitching up this line and what I'm going to do at the same time I can kind of feel in there where that thread is buried that thread tail I'm going to stitch into it as I make my first few quilting stitches so I'm stitching into it at the same time that I'm making my stitches and then I just continue on stitching as I normally would and that thread tail is in there it's secured I've literally stitched into it there's the back no tails all right so I would keep on stitching until I was running out of thread And say I was going to end my row or end my line up here. I'm anticipating ending right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is as I make my next stitch, I'm going to stitch just through the quilt top and the batting again. So you can see I do not have my needle through the back, just the batting and the quilt top. And I'm going to bring it out. A generous inch and a half away like that all right then I'm going to flip it around again and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go through all three layers and stitch into that thread and then as I make my last stitch, I'll go all the way through to the back. Just 
just like so. And then I usually just like a thread or two beside of it will insert my needle and pull my thread out. I may actually leave it a little bit longer than that. Then I clip it and that thread is now in the batting and the tail has already been secured. So no knots, bury your thread, try it a couple times and I think that you'll find this is a really great way to avoid having those holes from popping the knots through. So I'd love to hear from you if you have tried this method of burying your thread tails, let me know. And I'd also love to hear any questions you have that you'd love answers to in this quilting and answer series. But in the meantime, find more tips, tools, patterns, and tutorials at my website, Wisecraft Handmade. Be sure and subscribe to my channel on YouTube or on IGTV to know when each video is posted and I will see you next time.